I had a meeting in London, as you all know, in the House of Lords, and uh, the meeting was not about the main subject that took me to Asso Rock, which uh, is a problem with, uh, among other things, the problem we have in the Delta. But I used that opportunity to meet a certain number of international figures, parliamentarians, uh, royal heads, um, etc., etc., to pass on a message internationally, to pass on a message to prospective interveners in what's happening in the Delta at the request at the request of some of the militants, the militant groups there. That meeting was reported in the media and it was badly distorted. Let me make a plea. There are, it's bad enough distorting whatever happens, events, statements, and so on, on certain subjects. It's bad enough. But on an issue like the insurgency in Nigeria, the Delta in particular, we're on very, very delicate grounds. And the media has a huge role to play in that. An immediate role with people like me must demand of the media is accuracy, accuracy. There can be no invention in this kind of situation. There can be no adumbration, there can be no extrapolation, there can be no, uh, not even second guessing. You have got to be accurate. Otherwise, there's a loss of confidence and therefore a lack of solution. People must be confident that what they say to you is what you transmit and transmit to those to whom you are sent. You cannot publish a statement to me saying I am part of an international uh, group when the international group is not even in existence. There's no international intervention group which has been formed. And then to go further and attribute to me a statement that the international group has already contacted Buhari President Buhari, what kind of extreme invention is that? How can a group which does not exist be meeting with the head of state? And how could I, who just happened to be meeting with the head of state, say that the two entities have met when one of them does not exist? So please, I implore you, media. In fact, I've taken a decision not to speak about the Delta situation publicly, just to carry on any assignment which I feel I can carry out on behalf of a resolution. I will not be talking to the press any longer because I cannot spend my time correcting falsehood. I'm not responsible for the falsehood, and that burden should not be placed on my head. However, I wish to make an appeal publicly today, and please report me accurately. I wish to make an appeal to the government to respond positively, respond positively to the outreach from the militant groups. At the moment, they feel that the government of General Buhari, President Buhari, I should say, is not seriously responding to their own outreach. And I wish to make a personal appeal to the government to respond positively. And let us see where it ends us. But I'm not part of any international group. This is just me speaking. I know of no international intervention group in existence at the moment, but I hope one does get formed and active very soon. We cannot simplify the causes, the complex causes that lead to war. Uh, Boko Haram, for instance, uh, which you will talk about, 
uh, is the result of uh, religious lunacy and intoxication. There's no other explanation for it. And uh, if you try and, if somebody's trying to kill you, I believe you have a responsibility to kill them first. Uh, that's responsibility to yourself. And so I don't want to present myself as a, uh, as a candidate for uh, the Nobel Prize for Peace, because I'm not a very peaceful person. Uh, I believe very much that uh, aggression must be met by every possible means. Aggression, the killing of innocent, the, uh, uh, the intervention in people's lives, dictatorship, whether from the state or from the or civil society, any form of dictatorship, the kind represented by Daesh, ISIS, uh, so-called ISIS, uh, Al-Qaeda, Al-Shabaab, and Swadin, people who invade the community and go straight for their treasures, their intellectual heritage, to smash up the mausoleums of the saints, even of that very religion, who attack the libraries of famous, the famous libraries of Timbuktu, for instance, and burn manuscripts, which of sages, several centuries older than some of the uh, scholastic uh, works, even of Europe, people like that, I believe, are subhuman and should be treated as such. But simultaneously, we must go those moves to enlarge people's minds so that they do not think that they have the key to the gateway of truth, absolute truth and that they must coerce other people into acceptance of their own narrow vision of truth. Torturing, killing children, kidnapping uh, pupils who we sent to go and learn. For me, they've got to be wiped out. <laughs>